Hey guys and girls, how is it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Mad Pack with myself, Lewis. I hope you're brilliant. Having a great day as always. I know I am. I'm currently, currently recharging my pants. Yes, it's kind of like washing your pants, but with electricity. There we go. Some washed pants. Very nice. Now, between this and the last episode, uh, not too much has happened. I've been thinking about what I wanted to do, and I decided that this episode I wanted to try and get a source of flying sorted. And there's a few ways of doing that. So we could have done the nano side of things. So if we have a look here, uh, we could have made this guy, the nano chest plate. But to do that, I need so much stuff. That it's really expensive. This guy just needs many things. And I thought that could be a little bit boring to watch. So I was thinking of other ways to do it. And I was like, well, we could go for equipment exchange. We could we could up check, we could charge up the RF in our traveler's wand. We could swap this out for some dark craft armor. And all of those really didn't seem that cool to me because, you know, if I did the armor, I'd have to change the nano. If I did E3, if I did equipment exchange free, if we did farm craft, I'd have to spend ages doing research and stuff. And uh, I just didn't know what to do. And then, lo and behold, I came on today to start recording, and thus a little uh, little box popped up saying, "Yo, you know what? There's an update available for you, Lewis. Do you want to do it?" And I was like, "Well, before I do it, I'm going to check the change log because you should always check the change log before you do an update, just in case it ruins everything and it says that you should back your world up." And I was happily surprised. It seems there's been a massive update between the 1.3 and the 1.4 version of Mad Pack. Loads of stuff's been added. So we've got new mods like Grimoire of Gaia 2 added, which adds loads of new evil monsters and things like that. They've uh, updated Darkcraft. They've added Soul Shards Reborn. They've updated ATG, Lycanite Mobs, Mine Factory, Tinker's Construct. They've updated E3. Alchemy bags now work. Whoop, whoop. We've got updated Dark Patch, Extra Cells, and Dryo Whaler. But the biggest one of all, the real kind of, the, the awesome one for me, is they've added a mod called Aethercraft. Now I'd never heard of this before, so I thought I'd do a little bit of research into it. I went onto the mod forum page to have a gander at what this was all about, and it was, I was so surprised. It sorts all my problems out in one. Thus, we can fly. And also, it's, it's basically, it's basically equipment exchange too, which is amazing. You guys might remember this, hovering over a diamond and and where's my diamonds? Hiving over a diamond and clicking and saying, oh look, 8,192 uh, EMC. But it's AV. We have AV this time. And it kind of works the same way. It's it's amazingly cool. And I've missed E2, the most overpowered mod there is. But we've been playing with Darkcraft, which is kind of massively overpowered anyway. So we're going down that route. We might as well go to the extreme so we're going to do some Aethercraft today which is cool it's just been added and it looks kind of fun so let's have a gander at the Aethercraft menu and see what we have so here we go so everything looks kind of cool and funky and different oh yeah when I logged in as well through the update I got this thing I have no idea what it is creative tool modifier target lock battle sign battle signs were buffed recently this might make up for it not a sausage can't click on it it doesn't do things I don't know we'll put that in there Maybe one day we'll find a use for it. It's not even worth, it's not even worth any AV. Wow. So, the first thing we're going to want to make ourselves is, and I, I'm quite bad at this, so we're going to have to kind of get through it one second at a time. I've only just seen it. I believe it's a Aether Extractor, which is made like this. So we need some obsidian, we need some lapis, we need a block of glowstone, and we need some diamond. Now, I went and fixed up my little obsidian generator over there just so I could do this because I kind of saw that everything needs a buttload of obsidian, so that's definitely a thing. So we've got a glowstone. Let's make a bit of glowstone. There we go. And we're probably going to need a lot more glowstone as well, so we have to bear that in mind, but let's have a look. So we need that. We need two diamonds and a bit of this stuff. All right. Let's see if this all pops in. It does. So where should we put this stuff? We need to find a little area to be doing all of this. Oh. Oh, where is going to be our magical area? Hmm, I've got an idea, actually. I have. Let's have a look what we've got. We've got loads of cobblestone. We've got loads of stone bricks. We could use wood. All right. Let's go with... Hmm. Yeah. All right. I'm going to be right back, guys. I'm going to do a bit of uh, of cobble mining and cooking, and I shall see you in a mo. All right, you guys and girls, we are back. And one little word of advice for any of you guys, if you've just done the update, it might be worth going and checking your 
cables for your uh, IC2 because I found that all of mine are disconnected and they were just little blobs of cable everywhere. I had to go reconnect them and then restart the world again. So just a little word of advice. It happens now and then with updates. I remember it happening on STB once. Uh, just go check your cables because my, my guy here, my electronic furnace, was running out of juice and I had no idea why until I checked the cables. So yes, one little thing there. Now I've got to grab myself some crystals. I need a little bit more so we're going to make our way back and I'll show you what I've gone and done. So if we go to the Skyblock world... Ba bam ba bam here we go i've made this nice little area along here all out of slabs and we've made this nice thing out here out of the crystals that we got from one of our mr craft dimensions and i'm gonna go throw this on here and hopefully this is going to work i think it should do so let's grab my overworld book and throw it in there and bam yeah there we go we can make our way back and forth lovely jubbly oh i might even need to uh <laughs> put down more of those so it fits. Have I got any more? I haven't. That's fine. That'll do for the time being. So I should be able to run back and forth now. Yeah, there we go. Good stuff. I'm going to be too worried about my book blowing up now and everyone crying, which is always nice. So let's get rid of you. And we should probably make a chest while we're here to start throwing our gobbins in. So let's just craft ourselves a couple of chests. There we go. And this is where we're going to do all of our magic. This is going to be our magical place of awesomely magical things. How does that sound? Sounds pretty epic, doesn't it? So let's put it up there. And I'll kind of kit this out and make it look a little bit nicer soonish. But for the time being, it does the trick. It works. And I'm, you know, I'm happy with it. So let's go put this away. I was mining stuff with this pickaxe. I'm wondering why it was taking ages and then dropping loads of things. And then I remembered that I put Silk Touch on it. <laughs> what a way to do things. So the first thing that we have is the Aether Extractor. Kind of cool, right? I've got to figure out where I want to put stuff now. Or can I don't want to put it there? I guess we can put it on here. There we go. So first thing, A for extractor. And this has a limit of 8192 AV with a storage capacity of 16384 AV. So if we was to go and take something that has an AV value to it, let's go have a look in my bag, what I've got. Uh, it's got nothing. Oh, there we go. Wool's got 36 AV. So if we put that in there. But bam, 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 you can see that it eats up and gives us an AV of 144 out of 16,384. So if any of you have used Equivalent Exchange 2, this should be looking very, very similar. Very similar. Let's make our way back. We're going to go grab some materials to use. And I was hunting around to try and find good stuff to use, and I think I found it. All of this rubbish here that we get from our mob farm, from the zombies, they all have pretty high AV values. 1,280, 540, 1,792... Uh, the stacks of these have a value of 1,536, so we've got a fairly decent amount. So I'm going to grab, oh, AV700, oh, this does have decimals as well. So that's one thing to uh, bear in mind, is it does have decimal values. So let's grab some enchanted gubbins. Oh, 22,609, that's insane. Okay, there we go. And we'll make our way back through. Oh. Oh, why is the book in my hand? Are we good? We're good. <laughs> Mr. Craft Durpin for a second there. So, remember we can have an AV value of 16,484. So, is this going to fill it up? Or is it? can it not eat those? Oh, there we go. Cool. Can it eat stuff that's been damaged? It can, but it can't take any more than the actual amount it can hold. Okay, right, that makes sense. So, let's throw that in there. It should eat them all up. You going to eat those guys? Yeah, eating all the stuff. Do you want an unbreaking? You're going to love an unbreaking. Cool. And that gives us an AV value of 16,304. It's 14,000, 1,208. So that's 15,000, 16,000. That just throws it over the limit, I think. Maybe. Probably not. So maybe it won't eat. Oh, we did eat that one. There we go. So 14,698.5 AV we have in our Aether Extractor, which is cool. So we are going to need to go make a couple of other things as well. Let's go have a gander. Oh, not my feather. We're going to need a way of actually using our AFA that we've got now, or our AV. And I haven't exactly figured out how this works just yet, so you're going to have to bear with me. But we're going to need a way of actually using this stuff. So we have the AFA container, which I think is a way of storing more AFA, which is nice. So we might use one of those. There's the AFA manipulator. We've used the extractor. We have the infuser, the condenser, which condenses stuff. And we have the AFA Reconstructor. Now, I think the one that we want is the Aether Infuser Condenser 
manipulator. I believe it could be... No, it's this one, the Afer Condenser. Okay. Because this guy here, the Afer Manipulator, does both. So this does the Afer Extractor and the Afer Condenser all in one. And then you use Afer Conduits as a little mid-ground. And these guys are a way of transferring your Afer. Yes. You kind of don't want to pay any attention to the light green ones when you start, because they're a little bit more advanced. So look at all of the Obsidian colored ones to get yourself cracking. So we're going to want ourselves the Afer Condenser, aren't we? Or the Afer Infuser? Afer Extractor. Yeah. This guy. Yeah. Because the other one used the diamonds, didn't it? All right, so let's grab ourselves our glowstone and we'll craft this guy. There we go, so if you can dance, we need that. Two bits of lapis, we need some more obsidian. We're going to need a lot of obsidian for this, so it's going to be one thing that we're going to need quite a bit of, I think. I left my obsidian over there, didn't I? <laughs> How much do we need? Three, four, five. All right, let's go grab this stuff. Wow. It's the only problem when you jump in between worlds. Leaving stuff behind, it's going to be a thing. Where is my chest? There you are. I'm just going to keep this in my inventory at all times. All times. And I might need to make a room here. Okie dokie, we are back. And there was another crash again coming through a Mistcraft portal. I, I don't think it's Mistcraft. I, it's, it's happened, it happened in the last episode as well, coming back through. I think it's something here when it loads the world up it's not liking. Because it's fine going through, but coming back seems to be the problem. And there's so many mods here that are either experimental or being worked on and stuff. There's, just, <laughs> there's so much, but I will have a little look between this and the next episode to see if I can figure it out. If I had to take a wild guess, it would be one of three things. It would either be this guy from Openblocks, which I doubt because Openblocks is generally fairly sound. It would either be Darkcraft, because that's experimental at the minute, or it would be IC2, one of the two. <laughs> so, I might try picking some of all this up and throwing it in a bag or something cool. Yeah, and just seeing how it works, I don't know. We'll have a look, and then uh, I'll probably let you know next episode. But, we're back and we're good. So, I have my obsidian, I have my glowstone, let's get cracking and make this guy. So we're making the Aether Condenser, aren't we? And uh, if we got all the stuff for I think we should do. So it's obsidian, like this. It's our glowstone, we have our lapis, and our emerald. Gives us the Aether Condenser. Pretty nice. And it'd be kind of nice to make the uh, other guy as well if we could do that. So the Aether Container, though, no? Manipulator. It'd be kind of cool if we could do this, because that adds both of them together, doesn't it? But we'll check this one out first and see how it works. I would kind of like to make the Aether Container as well, soonish. Uh, yeah, because I think that's going to be a little bit handy, isn't it? Uh, the Aether Infuser we'll get around to in a minute. So there's a couple of things that we need to make first, but we are going to need some more glowstone. But I'll show you how these guys work first. So let's make our way out there. I'm going to actually quickly grab some cables as well. So we need some obsidian and some of this. I don't know if it's going to pull it straight from the uh, Aether Extractor. So an Aether Conduit might be necessary. Who knows? We'll find out. But let's go have a gander. So let's go to our skyblock. And it doesn't seem to break every time I come back, just sometimes. So, it's a bit of a weird one. Let's get a bit of music on. Bam! And we have our Aether Condenser. So, I'm going to place this guy here, and we're going to try and use a cable and see if this works. So, let's throw this like that. There we go. And does this got Aether in it? It hasn't. I think it needs a pulse. So, we'll place... A lever down there. Let me go make a lever quickly. Say we get grab ourselves some snakes. There we go. A bit of cobble. Do we have Aether? Stuff happening. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it says somewhere it needs a pulse to work. Okie dokie, I think I figured out how it works. Only took a second or two as well. Fairly easy. So these guys on the side here don't actually look like they store Aether inside them. No. It looks like what they do is it just reads it directly from the uh, from what it's connected to. So this is stored 5,866.5 5, 
you see up here 5866.5 and I didn't have to put any type of pulse or anything like that down there it seems to work fine now you can also put them side by side and they'll work perfectly fine as well but you know to keep the uh, general aesthetic of the room looking a little bit jagged I thought it'd be kind of cool to have them there like that I might even put some uh, stuff here just to kind of get rid of that and make it look a little bit more natural but except for that I think it's working kind of fine like we'd have those like that maybe who knows but it's working so let me show you how this works so once you've got your uh, AV in there like this I've been playing with with uh, lapis we can go ahead and uh, look in here so you can see that the this costs 128 AV if I want to make some so if I place one bit in there there you go it's going to use up our AV from in here and it's going to suck it out and make me loads of lapis. Oh yeah, I can go and throw it back in there. And you should find that once it's all done, we'll have an AV of 8,298.5, 8,192, because there's a little bit of an internal buffer on that. But there we go. Cool beans. So it's co it's condensing. So do you see the uh, E2 side of things? I put lapis in there. I got this stuff. If I wanted to make myself some torches, bam. Oh yeah, loving it. Still got loads left in there, so we can make millions of torches if we want to. But I probably shouldn't do that, so let's throw those back in there. <laughs> Man, I'm loving this mod already. Cool beans. So, we've got this up and running, and it seems to be working perfectly fine. Where is the next step? Well, the next step is to start infusing. And infusing is kind of the fun part of it, because this is what allows us to make some pretty funky items. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Thank you very much. <laughs> And to do infusing, we're going to need a Aether Infuser, I believe, to be able to make one of these guys. So we're going to need some more glowstone, we need some emeralds, we need some diamonds. We're going to need ourselves some more obsidian and whatnot. So it looks like we're going to have a little trip to the nether to go and grab some of that. So let's have a little wiggle on over here. And as far as I'm aware, the nether wasn't that bad. At least I don't think it was the last time we went in there, but we're sure going to find out. <laughs> I can't have to remember how our never spawn was. I think it was alright. I haven't always spawned on a bridge. Yes, we spawned on a bridge. That's the one. <laughs> now I remember. We spawned on a bridge. And we got all these guys from Doom here trying to kill us. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. There we go. Alright. Where's my nano saber when you need it? Ba bam bam. So we need to go grab ourselves some glowstone, which is hopefully around here somewhere. Where's my boat? There we go. All right. Not today, mister. Not today. That was a pro shot. That was a pro shot right there for you. <laughs> there is a new guy in town, and that is me. So let's make our way over here. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> no way. Am I fighting you today? There is way too many bad guys over there. Regeneration, thank you very much. Alright, cool. We've got loads of this stuff up here. Let's go grab all of this. And then we'll make our way back. Hopefully it's not all going to fall down there. I wonder if I can get up there and get all of that stuff. Uh, let's try this. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Hello, you. Okie dokie. So... I only want a little bit. <laughs> I only want, I just want to get up there quickly just grab a little bit. Uh, maybe I can fly up there. There we go. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Man, the never is a horrible place nowadays. Definitely not a place you want to be coming on a regular day out. There we go. Okay, right. I'm just going to noob my way up there, I think. Let's, let me grab some of this. You know, this would be so much easier when we can fly. <laughs> <laughs> Where is this thing? Oh, it's over there. Has it gone away? I think it's gone away. I'm going to say we're kind of good. For a second. So, here we go. Yay! Loads of glowstone. Alright, what we got? 46 bits. That is more than enough. 
let's make our way back home. <laughs> I really don't want to be hanging around here too much, it's kind of scary. So we got a glowstone. What else do we need? We need some obsidian, so we might have to go craft us some obsidian quickly. I know I have some left. Actually, no, I don't think I actually have any left in the base. Because I... Oh my god! <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? What is this? Ooh. <laughs> I think we found that in another episode. It's just never gonna... It's gonna stay lit forever. Lit forever. Yes. Wow. I might have to destroy that gate. That could become very, uh, very annoying very quickly, seeing as it's so close to the one that I've already got. But hey, at least we've already got a garden down here as well, so I can kind of easily get back into my house. There we go. Alrighty. After that amazing trip to the Never, we're kind of good. So let's grab some redstone. And we'll get crafting some of this. There we go. So some of you guys right remember this ring because it is kind of like the equivalent exchange ring in how it works and the recipe is kind of similar as well so and i think i've probably got this wrong but i i can't remember the name but i think it's the swift wolf's rending gale oh you ate my redstone thank you much yes i think that's what it is swift wolf's rending gale i, I don't know if that's right or not but yeah it's pretty much the same thing, and it's kind of cool. <laughs> so we're going to craft it. As long as we've got the stuff for it, because they are kind of expensive. Kind of, you know, we haven't got... This mod doesn't add stuff like Dark Matter and Red Matter, and it doesn't have anything like uh, the the EMC... Um, the things you put in the sunlight and it makes them. It doesn't do anything like that. It's kind of a little bit more relaxed now, but hey, who knows? It's kind of going down the same route, so we'll have to wait and see. But we want the infuser, so we want these guys. Let's grab us a glowstone block to start with. There we are. Oh, I've got glowstone around here somewhere. There we go. And we want our emeralds. It seems to use a lot of emeralds, and it seems to prefer emeralds as well. 16,000 to 8,000. See? So that's kind of strange. I would have thought diamonds would be more expensive, but it turns out they're not. So we've got our Aether Infuser. Okay. So with our Aether Infuser, we're going to want ourselves some gold. And we're going to want some diamonds. There we go. And we're going to want something that has a good infusement cost to it as well. Something that we can, you know, spam. So let's grab some armor, I think. We've got some diamond armor. That's got 2,234. Uh, aha! Gold armor seems to be the kitty. So let's grab all of this stuff. There we go. And we'll throw our rubbish in here. Our mob drops that we got. What do we get? We got some flame strings, some claws. Uh, we've got some of this. We can go in there. Some of these guys. Got loads of glowstone as well. Okay, I think we've got most of the bits that we need. So let's make our way back to our magical world. And this is where we're going to do all of our farm craft as well, I think. We'll do all of our farm craft and, you know, expand on this and try and make it look really magical and whatnot. And uh, we'll have the magical tunes up and running. So, let us grab another cable and see if this works. Because I haven't done it with two cables, so I don't really know what to expect. But we'll do that. And we'll put the other one there. So, is it going to read it? AV0 of 16,384. I don't know if it's actually going to read if it works like that, but I guess. Aha! Yes, it does. Cool. So, we need to fill this guy up. So, let's throw in some of this. And what is that worth? That's worth the whole lot. <laughs> what about you? 22,000. Oh my god. Let's just use lapis. Cool. Fill it up with lapis. Now, we're going to want to make ourselves, some of these guys, some ethereal foci and some infused ingots. Yes. And the thing that we want to make is the ring of flight. Yes. Which requires four infused ingots. It requires a ethereal foci and bits and bobs like that. So what we want to do is we want to put a diamond in here and it's going to infuse our diamond with uh, good stuff. And eventually, I hope, as long as this works, it will give us a ethereal foci. I think that's how it works. <laughs> I think <laughs> it depends how much it needs to be able to make this so let's just hang about a minute or two and see if it does its thing while it's doing that as part of dirt and 
stuff in here, stuff that we can infuse. Eventually, I'm kind of hoping, because I, I hope this has mod support, is we can pump stuff into our Aether Extractor. Now, there is another thing as well that we can use, which is the Aether Container, which is also very cool, and uh, we might make one of those in a minute as well, but it seems to look like it's doing its thing. We've got 8,000 in there, 7,000. Ah, oh, so it looks like it needs 24,576 for it to work, so we might have to throw in some more rubbish for it to want to do its thing. So let's throw in some more lapis. There we go. And that's going to go and do that. Now, I do know that these pipes do actually have a limit to the amount of AV that they can send at one given point. Now, that amount, I have no idea. You'll have to go look on the uh, on the wiki for that, but or the uh, mod forums thing. But I do know that it has a, uh, a limit, the amount it can send. And that's what the infused conduits are for, which allow them to send more these uh, guys but they cost a bit more so you need infused ingots and you need glowstone and you can make these guys and everything here has its uh, infused version which in general is just better i think it has higher storage amounts it's just a better version of it so yeah but that's doing its thing so how many are we gonna need for this we just need one ethereal foci we need a rock band or a route band which needs these guys and we're going to need an aether battery which is that as well or we can make the aether cell which is the same as the battery but just hold, holds more which means we need four of those and an infused ingot for that to happen now the infused ingots are made just like they are with the diamonds like this except you use gold and that allows you to create those guys so we need four of those so it means we're probably going to need another bit of gold to be able to do that and we're going to need uh, a lot more gold actually to be able to do that so i might have to do a slight bit of mining a lava bucket some feathers yeah we're gonna need a little bit oh are we out oh we are oh well this stuff is expensive should we do half our glow let's do half our glow how much is glowstone worth 128 oh it's worth quite a bit let's see if we can throw some of these in bam eat it take it all up Sixteen thousand three hundred eighty-four is the <laughs> it's bang on the amount that we can actually store in this guy as well so i wonder if it'll use that up once it's done ah there we go an ethereal foci cool so now we want to start doing our gold so these guys require 6144 per piece are you gonna eat that come on it's worth just the right amount cool man nope doesn't look like it's gonna eat it all right we're gonna need to increase the size on this quite dramatically i think which i believe is what the aether container is for I think. I think that's what the Aether container is for. We'll have to find out. But we do need some more bits, don't we? So I'm going to grab my obsidian. And we're going to go and try and make this other guy, I think. See how that works out. So let us make our way back home. Yes. And I'm going to grab some of the rubbish from up here. What is this worth? 770, 540, 360. These could be worth a fair bit because we don't use these, do we? So we'll take those. That's all right. Oh, that's not bad. 36, 96. What are these worth? 770, 770, 250, 360. Iron hose are actually worth a fairly decent amount, aren't they? Huh. Let's go see what other rubbish we have. It might be worth just plugging the mob farm, moving the mob farm to that place and using that. Oh my god, here's all the good stuff. Uh, 2,234, we can throw that away. 2048, 2048, yes, we need some more gold, didn't we, so let's grab our gold, because we're going to need that, and we need some lava and things like that, so we'll go craft those in a minute, but let's get our infused bits and bobs first, cool beans, so let's throw all of this in here, again, and all in all, that should create quite a bit, this rotten flesh. It should be able to do the trick. Each one of these to infuse our gold ingot to an infused ingot is going to cost us 6,144 to be able to do that. Now, bear in mind that I said that we needed more gold. Gold is worth 2,048, but, well, we can just make more gold, can't we? <laughs> yes, we can. We can just make more gold. Loving it. That is the great thing about this mod, using the condenser to be able to make all the things that we generally don't have. And if we've got more of one thing, well, we can just condense it all together and fuse it and use the magical that is AV or EMC, whichever way you want to look at it, to make ourselves more items, which is nice. There we go, our first ethereal infused ingot. And I should be able to make some more gold. There we go, I just made eight gold. <laughs> this is just too good. Let's go for all of this rubbish in here. There we go, we've got 9,930. 
And how many of these do I need? I need four infused ingots. So that means we're going to need another... Let's put three in there. So it's going to cost 6,144 per piece. And how much more gold are we going to need? We're going to need one, two, we need nine, or eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. And those guys can go back in there. Shooting it right up. Yeah. Cool beans. All right, let's go grab all the other bits and bobs that we need. And I think we're going to be able to fly by the end of this episode. I am pretty excited about being able to fly by the end of this episode. It's going to be insane. Oh, yeah. Now, we're going to need some lava, aren't we? So we need lava. How many lava? We need one lava bucket for this guy and the rest like that. So let's grab a bucket. Cool. And we're going to go get ourselves some lava. Is it night time? It is night time. Let's have a little sleepies first. <laughs> we don't want to go there when it's all bad. Especially now that we have the uh, Grimmore thing in. I forgot the name of it already, but Guy of Grimmore adds lots of really bad guys. And I have seen some pretty bad guys while I've been out on my rounds. I saw creepers with a quadrillion faces. I saw all sorts of horrible guys. So let's just hope that we don't run into any of those. Because I'll probably scream and run away and it will uh, be rather frightening. Okay, right. Let's look on the map. Let's find where we can find some larvae. It looks like there's loads of lava over there. There's loads of lava over there. Is there any lava near me? Mer. Doesn't look like it, but it looks like there's lava over this way from these blocks. All right, and that's that way. Yes. Cool beans. All right, let's make our way over here and grab some of this stuff. This does mean I'm need, going to need to make myself a load of chunk loads as well, one for each world, so that we can keep that happening. Because at this very moment in time, you've got to remember that my infused stuff isn't actually doing anything at the minute. At least I don't think it is. Oh my jeebus, look at the size of that guy down there. <laughs> He's huge! Can I get him? I did get him. Whoa! Now, I don't know the difference between whether these are from the Grim Moor thingamabob, or whether they're from Lycanite mobs, because Lycanite mobs has been upgraded as well to add more bad guys. So we just have to keep our eye out for some more, uh, you know, really bad things and see if they are, uh, see if they look any different. But that looks like our pool of lava. Poof. Thank you very much. Let's make our way back home. <laughs> so OP. And we want our gold, don't we, so we can make our band. So it's those guys. Our gold gives us our root band. And we're going to want an eighth of battery. So we're going to need more gold again after that. So I might, you know, I might have been just in, how much are these worth? 8,192, 16,000. Uh, wonder what's good. Ooh, freezer eye's not bad. It's not like I'm going to be using much of that. It's worth 4,000 a piece. Nice. So let's go and make one of those. Should I make, I might even make a chunk loader while I'm here, actually. Let's have a look. Make a quick chunk loader. So, uh, it's gold again. So we need more gold. Well, fair enough. Let's go back. Okay. How is our stuff doing? It's getting there. The powers are going down. So let's throw in our freezerite. Because that guy looks like it's worth quite a bit. 4,096 AV. And it's kind of easy with the amount of meteors that are falling to get freezerite and to get krekenerite. And regular meteorite. All of that seems to be worth quite a bit. I think the meteorite's worth around about the 2,000. Whereas the krekenerite and the freezerite are worth around about 4,000. So that's kind of cool, isn't it? You know, kind of does the trick. How are we doing? We've got one more bit. So that's going to keep doing its thing. I might even, while I'm here, get myself some more gold. Let's just take one of these out of here and do this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Instant stackage of the gold. So we need two of those, don't we? And I'll throw the rest of that in there, I guess. Yeah, there we go. We don't need too much, so let's put those guys in there. And let's go get the rest of the bits that we need. And let's craft ourselves while we're there a chunk loader for the other place. Because that sounds like a thing. So we're going to want a ender pearl. There we go. We're going to need to make a regular one first, aren't we? So we need a book. We need two diamonds and that. Because we need to make an enchantment table to get ourselves cracking on our chunk loader. Because I'm probably going to spend most of my time here. But hey, it's fine. So we need you guys. Two diamonds. Gives me that. Then it's that with that. Uh, that, bam, 
chunk loader done. Let's go and pop this guy down so I can go and do all of that. And for the time being, I think we'll just... Oh, man, this place hasn't got a centre. Oh! <laughs> it's going to hurt. Uh, let's just pop it there. Uh, show lasers. Yeah, this is more than big enough. Cool beans. So that's going to stay loaded while all of these guys are doing our thing. There we go. That's the third one. Do we need any more in there? Definitely not because we've got millions of gold. So let's get the rest of the bits. Please don't crash. Thank you very much. All right, we need some feathers, don't we? So our ring, let's have a look at our etherical ring of majiggy. So we're going to want this guy, which means we're going to need two feathers as well. So let's grab two feathers. Ba bam ba bam We're going to want our battery, which is going to be made like that. So we're going to need some glass. Uh, ooh. Am I out of glass? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Christ is averted. So let's make ourselves one of these. Oh yeah, and we'll make two because eventually, I guess we'll we'll do these and uh, we'll make a better one eventually. But for the time being, I think the amount this has is probably going to be fine. So let's throw that in there. Let's throw all of our things in here because we found something better to use, haven't we? And we will throw our bouquet. Oh. What happened to my... Oh, we used it. Okay, that's cool. There we go. Let's throw that in there. All right. Let's go get our last ingot and craft ourselves a awesome ring of flying. kind of think this is going to be a bit cool. So there's that. So how do I charge these guys? Do I put them in there? I don't even know how I charge these. <laughs> uh... Nope. What's this? This is the Aether Infuser. Alright, okay. So Aether Infuser, Aether Container, Aether Manipulator, Aether Condenser, Aether Reconstructor, Aether Extractor. Oh man, how do we even charge these guys? That could be a problem. Do I... Uh, that did nothing. That did nothing. Huh. Well, well, well. That could be a small issue. I think I know how to do it, though. So we have the extractor, the condenser, and the infuser. So I think we need the container or the reconstructor. One of the two. We'll make both of them and see how it works. I'll go make them off screen in a minute and I'll come back. But uh, I think that's most of the bits to make the ring. So let's go have a little gander. There we go. So it's the four infused ingots, our wrought band, our feathers... Our uh, etherical thingamabob. Oh, we need an emerald as well. Damn. Okay, right, guys. I'm going to be back in a minute. I'm going to go make the rest of these other blocks. And we'll see which one does the trick. Alrighty, so we are rocking and a rolling, I think. I've made my ring of flight. Yes, remember how we need to do that with our ethereal foci and ingots and stuff. And I figured out how to make the uh, cells get charged. You can see this has some AV in it. You need... You need to make yourself the Aether container, which is this guy, so it's not actually that expensive. It doesn't require, like, a huge amount of stuff. And what this does is it works the giant battery. So this can store 65,536 AV, whereas this has a limit of 8,000 or 16,384, which is kind of cool. And all of these are connected via our uh, wires at the back here, which, you know, seem to be doing their thing. They, they just allow the AV to be transferred to the correct area that you want it to be in. That seems how it does. It doesn't uh, actually send it to certain areas. It just it seems to work that way. So, we have this in here. So, all we do is we throw that in there. And ba-bam, ba-bam. It goes and stores it in here. I think I can put it back in there and it unstores it. Yes. So, we can go and fill this up. I have no idea how much this guy can actually hold. Uh, stored AV, so it can hold 16,384. Let's go store this one up in as well. And remember, eventually, we can use this one, uh, which I would guess stores four times the amount because it has four of these mana batteries and these Aether batteries. But there we go. Each one of these has 16,384 AV stored inside them. And now, if we right click on our ring, it makes this cool little ring of flight thing, this little splashy guy here, and we can fly as if we're in creative mode. <laughs> Oh yes, we can even take it out, throw it in there, and we can still fly as if we're in creative mode. And another thing that it does as well is if I fly, if I if I go into here and I put my golden feather in there like that, and I take my boots off, I shouldn't take any damage. 
No, there we go. See? Pretty funky stuff, right? I like it. And you can see the amount going down. So it uses up a fair amount. Uh, we're on 16,298, but it'll start eating into this one once we're done. And once we make the bigger AFA cell, then we can hold more in there. And plus, when you're around on the ground, you're going to be turning it off anyway. But wow, that is so cool being able to fly around. It means that we can now go all the way up to those giant towers in the sky and the Kami Towers to go beat all of the magical guys up there with all of our electrical nano goodness and magical goodness. Without having to recharge our RF thing and without having to worry about our Ender Sword running out. So, all in all, this is, you know, kind of cool. So, I think in the next episode what we'll do is we'll have a little experimentation with some of the other blocks that are available. There is more to go into with this. We have the Ring of Repair. We also have the tools, the AFA tools that we can have a look at. And we have other items like the Manipulator and we have things like the Reconstructor. And then we start making our way into things like the Catalyzer and guys like that so kind of cool i think a kind of cool mod oh yes i am pretty happy with it and i'm kind of impressed with how fun it is to play with <laughs> i wonder if we can put stuff straight in there no we can't okay that would uh be way too easy all right guys so that's going to be that for this episode i hope you have enjoyed it we're starting to make our magical area of splendid magicaliness stuff i think yes and uh thank you the Aether Craft for supplying us with another OP mod added into a pack that's meant to be hard. <laughs> cool beans, guys. I'll see you soon for another episode. Have yourself a great day, as always. Have yourself a good un and goodbye.